TVCC Library Online. This video will show you how to use the Encompass search bar to start your online research. The Encompass search bar is the best place to start because it allows you to search our entire ebook collection, our films on demand audio, uh, video collection, and most of our academic research databases in one place. To get started, just enter a search term into the box and click search. The TVCC Library Discovery Service will open in a new window. At the top of the screen, you'll see the search bar. You can add additional search terms here to narrow your results. Above this in the top menu, you have several options. One is to change the program language by clicking on language and selecting a language from this drop-down box. You also have the option to sign in to the Discovery Service, and we'll explore this option at the end of the tutorial. Below the search bar is your results list. Remember, you're now searching through the majority of our online collections. So you may see something called a research starter, like this criminal justice system article that you see. Research starters are encyclopedia entries about your topic. Other results you might see include eBooks, which will be labeled here below the icon, videos from Films on Demand, or academic journals. You can access any of these articles by clicking the title of the item. It's important to note that if you are researching from a computer off campus, you'll be prompted to log into the Discovery Service with your TVCC library card number before you can read any of these articles. Visit us in the library or call us at 541-881-5929 to register for a library account. If you're on a campus computer or a campus Wi-Fi connection, you'll skip this step. Now, on this item detail page, you can see full citation information for the article or book you have selected and an abstract or summary. You'll also be able to read the complete article or book or download the article as a PDF using the resources here on the left-hand side of your screen. Now, on the right side in this toolbar, you have options to save your article uh, by saving to Google Drive, to the Discovery Service, or to your computer. And you have an option to email the article to yourself or to download a permanent link to this article. You also have some really cool accessibility options, including by clicking on listen, access to an MP3 file so you can listen to the article being read, or by clicking on translate, the option to translate the article into a number of different languages. Perhaps the most important tool for you as a college student is the citation tool. When you click on Cite, the system will open up a menu of different citation styles for this article, including APA or MLA, the two most popular research styles on our campus, and you can copy and paste these citations directly into your own essay on your Works Cited page or your References page. Return to your results list, just go ahead and click Result List here at the top. Now you can further narrow your results by using these options in the left-hand menu. Here, you can limit your results to only full text articles, or you can limit your results to articles that have been through a peer review process. You can also update the publication dates of your articles, or you can select the source type you want to focus on. For example, if I click on news, my results will automatically update to include only articles published in newspapers. A final tool that you might find useful is the ability to create a personal account on the Discovery Service. A personal account will allow you to save your research directly to the service without saving articles to a USB drive or to your computer. To begin, click Sign In in the top menu. On this screen, you'll have the option to sign in or create a new account. When you click Create One Now, you'll see the registration page where you can either register with your email address or with your Google account. I'm going to go back to the last screen and sign in. And now that I've signed in, I'll be able to see uh, to save all of my articles by clicking on these blue folders. Once I click the blue folder and add the article to my folder, you'll see that the folders turn yellow. Any article that has a yellow folder next to it is saved 
permanently on the service and I can access it by clicking on my folder here in the top blue menu. When I click on folder, I'll be able to access all of my articles. Notice that articles are organized by source type. So I have a section for articles and I have a section for ebooks. But in addition to this, I can organize my ebooks and articles by using this custom folder area here at the bottom. I can create custom folders by clicking on new, naming the folder, and then clicking save. Now, when I have a new article for my project, I just have to click the tick box here next to the article titles, click move to, and then select my folder from the drop down list. Now in this custom folder area, I can click on my new folder and then I can see a list of any articles, ebooks, or other sources that I have saved for that project. I can also return to my results list and continue adding items to my folder by clicking back and then refining my search results either by adding keywords in this top search bar, by using new limiters, or by clicking the blue folder and just adding new articles to my folder. When you're ready to finish your uh, research session, click sign out and you'll be taken to the front page of the discovery service where you can start a new session or close and log back in when you get home and start right where you left off. If you have any questions about the research process or technical difficulties, please give us a call or drop us a line at the TVCC library because we're more than happy to help you. Thanks.